Rutherford's alpha ray scattering experiment. The experimental apparatus of Rutherford consisted of a radioactive element like uranium, which is a source of alpha particles placed in a lead cage. Generally, alpha rays consist of doubly positive helium ion or HE2 plus. A thin gold foil of thickness 4 and to 10 to the power of minus 5 centimeters is placed in the center of a evacuated chamber which is surrounded by a fluorescent screen made of zinc sulfide. A movable microscope is arranged outside the zinc sulfide screen in order to see the light flashes or scintillations. The alpha particles being positively charged causes scintillations on striking the fluorescent zinc sulfide screen. Based on Thomson's model, Rutherford thought that the alpha ray particles emitted from radioactive source would pass through the gold foil with no or slight deflections. But the actual experiment showed following results. Rutherford in his experiment has observed that most of the alpha rays pass through the gold foil without any deflection or slight deflection. This can be known from the fact that most of the light flashes or scintillations were noticed across only one region on zinc sulfide screen along the straight path of alpha rays. In his second observation, Rutherford has noticed that only few of alpha particles are deflected through large angles as shown. Surprisingly, Rutherford in his third observation has noticed that only one out of 20,000 alpha ray particles deflected or bounced back along the path of emitted alpha rays at an angle of 180 degrees. From the observations noted from alpha ray scattering experiment, Rutherford drew following conclusions. From the first observation that 99% of alpha rays pass through the gold foil undeflected, Rutherford has concluded that the most of the space of an atom is empty. From the second observation that deflection of only 1% of alpha rays to large angles Rutherford has indicated that alpha rays being positively charged when passed close enough through the another very big positively charged body, the alpha particles are strongly rippled and hence deflected through large angles. From this observation, Rutherford has concluded that the whole of positively charged particles is concentrated in the center of the atom and takes a condensed form as shown. This portion of positively charged heavy mass occupying small space is called nucleus. This conclusion of Rutherford has ruled out the existence of positively charged species and atom in diffused form with positive charge spread all over the atom as suggested by Thomson's watermelon model. The final observation was that only one out of 20,000 alpha ray particles bounced back at 180 degrees along alpha ray path. From this observation Rutherford has concluded that nucleus is rigid 
and rebound of positive charged alpha rays is due to direct collision of intense and heavy positively charged mass. Rutherford has estimated that the approximate size of nucleus to be of the order of 1 Fermi which is equivalent to 10 to the power of minus 13 centimeters or 10 to the power of minus 15 meters.